Hello everybody and welcome back to Killer Gaming. My name is VSDA and welcome to this week's Killer News. This is where I talk about the week's news. It's a weekly series I do every Friday. So uh, please come back and uh, each week and you'll uh, see my opinion and views <clears throat> of uh, the week's news uh, gone by. Uh, so first up in the news is the Twitch app has, has uh, launched on the PlayStation 4 allowing you to follow streamers, your favorite uh, cr content creators, etc, etc, and you can even stream yourselves as well using this new app. Now, I personally don't really use Twitch. I basically just go on YouTube and watch the videos. I don't watch them live. Um, but it's nice knowing that I can just hit the Twitch app now, and if I want to watch somebody live, I can then interact with them directly using my big TV. Just making Twitch a little bit more accessible. I'm surprised I didn't come up with this sooner, considering everything else has an app in itself, but what have you, it takes a thing, uh, it's relatively new and it takes a while for this thing to uh, get done, and that's just the way it is. Uh, it is uh, only available on the PS4 right now, but it will be rolling out in the next two months, will launch on the PS3, uh, PS3. and uh, apparently it's only available thus far in the USA, that's unfortunate, uh, but it is coming to other territories, regional territories, later on. So I don't know how long it's not giving the time frame, but apparently it is coming soon. So that's in the near future, probably over the next month or so. Um, but yeah, uh, me personally, I don't use Twitch. Uh, I did have a Twitch name. I probably have to come up with another one, considering in fact I changed the name of my um, YouTube channel. Um, and I'll see how that works. I mean, I haven't even started to uh, put content and gameplay in terms for card catch or anything like that to actually catch a gameplay and do playthroughs yet. But that is something I will have to be looking to do in the future as well as interacting with people uh, in the near future or what have you so you know but that depends I'll keep you updated on that as it happens and, and I'll probably leave my name in the link in the description below etc etc but to be honest with you I'm nowhere, I'm not nowhere near that stage but I'm not near that stage yet um, etc but anyway that's uh, for Twitch just now um, next up Blizzard announced the new esports division um, now, the four, it's run by the former ESPN and M Major League Gaming heads. Um, they said in a statement, I'm just going to read from you here, uh, that last year we saw 150 million gamers um, watch uh, these tournaments. Wow, that's, that's quite impressive for gamers, you know what I mean? Um, and racked up about 13 billion hours watching esports. That's not just that's not gaming in general, people watching streams and gameplay. That is just esports itself. So it shows you there is a market there. I've touched on this before on my, uh, you know, gamers being um, even taking it as seriously as actually drug testing gamers. You can see that on my channel as well in a vlog that I did um, about esports testing gamers for for performing enhancing drugs. Um, like even they were using um, particular drugs to uh, calm the nervous system uh, before a big match or a final. I think so. I think it was Ritalin, Abdul, Abel. I don't know what they call it right now, off the top of my head. But it's basically calms you the fuck down, steadies your nerves, and puts some real focus in you. Uh, they, use, as I said, they use it to treat people, treat people with ADHD. And uh, you know, of course, you, you can't do that. And I think that the, the worst is they got suspended. I, I don't even know. I, I think they won a tournament, but they didn't have to give the money back. I'm not going to go too deep into that whole situation. Um, but uh, it is on a vlog on my channel, so if you are interested in that scandal, then by all means, uh, check that out. So yeah, so that's 13, million, uh, 13 billion hours racked up in uh, Xbox alone. Uh, they said it's still, it, it can potentially rival real sports or traditional sports like soccer, football, etc., etc. I think, at least off the top of my head, I think that 100 or 200 million people watch the Super Bowl every year. Now, if that's the Super Bowl alone, imagine, you know, I mean, and we've got 150 million gamers watching the eSports. And I don't know if that's one tournament or what have you. It doesn't say the actual dynamic. It just says over 150 million people have watched eSports alone. So it just goes to show you how big it really, really is. Um, and there's potential merchandise, ticket sales, and sponsorship deals. Of course, uh, teams are, if you haven't got the money, or they're more or less... Uh, traditionally are a team sponsored by a particular company and that's the way it works you're sponsored by a company you wear their brand and you go up for if you're good at it you get the, a great brand you know backing you I don't know whoever maybe I don't know who actually backs I don't know EA or 
whatever particular brand might be, you know, that's the way it works. There's money involved in that. So there is money to be made. And yes, it is pr predominantly, it has been in the past in uh, South Korea. I saw a whole documentary on it. Fantastic documentary. I've, it really opened my eyes to uh, esports where actual people or, or teenagers would be scouted and put in a flat, live together and train together. Training for gaming competitions up to 15 hours a week, there would be training. That's a lot. Or, yeah, I think, it's, no, no, it's more than that. It's about 60 hours a week overall. 15 hours a day, my mistake. 15 hours a day, 60, 70 hours a week training, playing a video game constantly. Um, you know, teamwork. And they are obviously Hearthstone, League of Legends. And even now they've got... Um, oh, sorry, my mistake. <sighs> Pardon me. Call of Duty uh, World League has just been launched as well. So this is something that is picking up in the West as well. It's been for one or two years, I think, but it's really, really gotten big. So, you know, this is the future of uh, gaming. And, uh, you know, at this particular point, I would like to say, you know, to all those people that said, you know, um, you know, uh, called the gamers nerds and, and all and losers and stuff, I want to give a big fuck you right here, right now to all of you. Um, you know, what do you have? A life and a girlfriend. Good comeback. But anyway, moving on from that, I think it's a positive thing overall. Next up is Square Enix. Uh, it's going to continue to remake existing IPs or intellectual properties for um, the current gen hardware or PS4, what have you, Xbox One. Um, now, in the past, I have been uh, critical of this because it was all we were getting is HD remakes, HD remakes really fucking shit and it's you know and as for me or a bunch of other people we bought and played these before we don't want to pay more money for the same game however i have stopped moaning about that a little bit basically because there is new content available now it was all in the beginning like all this oh this chunk of you know all we played it before let's put it over here now now it's like a little bit little bit moving and we're getting new games existing all right they're series we're halo they're assassin's creed they're fifa Call of Duty, they're all serious, that's four big series right there. Um, but they are new, they are all new games, so, or new stories, uh, and essentially they're not friend, we're not stuck with the option of having to buy all these remakes. We can buy these games now, so it's not too bad. Uh, they're talking about uh, a freshness, bringing a freshness to the game that they're going to remake on the current gen P or PS4, what have you, Xbox One, while capturing new users to play their games. Now, this is relatively a good thing to a point where we get the opportunity to um, to actually play, uh, to bring them to the next gen. Like, I wanted all the uh, Metal Gear Solids done. They only made them in HD, brought them to the PS3. I bought them, I enjoyed them, and I, you know, applaud that. At the same time, I wish that they would tear down the whole game and build it for the, from the ground up to fit the PS4. But of course, they're not going to do that. It's not cost effective. And I understand that. That's unfortunate. They've got Final Fantasy VII. I don't know if they just did a HD remake. I don't think they did. I think they made it from the ground up. They're also talking about doing Final Fantasy V and VI as well. I'm not a Final Fantasy person. Never have been. Never will be. The gameplay doesn't. Uh, in, I don't. I don't enjoy the gameplay. I, I don't. I don't. I can't hack that. I, I really can't. It's just not my type of gameplay. Not that it's a bad game. I just don't enjoy it, so I stay away from it. Um, but overall, I think uh, you know. I don't mind it as bad now because we've got the option to play other games. We don't have to have these remakes. Um, but anyway, moving on from that. Next up is a worrying thing, at least for YouTubers and the likes of me, even though I've just started, no, I do not get paid for YouTube, so, you know, what have you, and I've been doing this for four months, but it's still a pleasure to do it all day, every day. YouTube Red has been announced. This unveils a new YouTube subscription costing $10 a month. It is only in the USA right now, We're going up to other regions. This uh, allowing you um, not to see advertisements, you can save videos and um, watch them offline. However, exclusive content is going to be put on this particular channel. Uh, from PewDiePie is already uh, is doing a series. Scared PewDiePie is already starting up in January, kicking off in January. Uh, it start um, January next year, and then this actual scheme of YouTube Red kicks off on October twenty eighth. Um, but yeah, it will come to other locations later on. Um, what's worrying about this is because it puts uh, content behind a paywall. Now I think they've tried this this uh, thing before on a few other channels and stuff like that where you have to pay 
Um, I believe well, they tried something similar to this before and it didn't work because uh, people didn't want to pay and I for one hope to God it does not work out to be honest with you. Yes, they can invest this money into putting into making new projects and stuff like that and I understand that. Pretty much like Netflix where you pay, you, you pay for the product and they can make a TV show and then you know, they reinvest that money, which is a good thing to a point, and I understand that. But putting content behind a paywall is very frustrating. I ain't, I ain't going to be doing it personally, uh, paying the subscription. And uh, personally, I don't like the idea of limiting people from seeing my content in any way, shape, or form. Okay, I haven't got the numbers, and I'm not making money. But at the same time, you're talking to PewDiePie, who makes uh, about 12, uh, 7, 8, 12, 13 million dollars. I think he made last year, something crazy. Um, and he's doing it. I know to make more money, I get he wants to be part of that t a system uh, for whatever reason. But to be honest with you, I I hope a lot of YouTubers don't do it like Angry Joe uh, being one of them. And I like the idea of the content being free. And I, I hope it falls flat on its face, to be honest with you. Because I, 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 I think it will anyway, because a lot of people uh, are use YouTube, are kids, adults. They just go on to watch a video or something. They don't want to have to pay to uh, see particular content, which would be a shame because I know what they create is good content. I don't doubt that the content's going to be good, but at the same time, I would rather keep getting it for free and not have them to pay, and I think most YouTubers will feel that way, at least I'm hoping. I'd rather put up the view poxy ads in my videos or when I'm watching somebody else's videos and just skip the ad or just put up with watching it, and then that's it. But I know most of you out there uh, who are, I'm not going to say geeks or nerdy people because you're not. You just informed. Use something called ad blocker where ads get blocked and you don't have to see them on YouTube or any videos that you uh, go on. I personally don't use it. It doesn't even bother me to, to see ads anymore like it used to. Um, but I only watch three or four YouTubers now anyway to, to a point. You know, if I find something good, then then by all means, you know, or an ad. But but I don't use YouTube like that as much as I used to. And I hope to God that a lot of people don't pay and just kind of boycott the the YouTube red uh, system. Uh, kind of thing. I guess I understand it's to make more money, um, but realistically, I don't think it's going to work long term. I, I know that a lot of YouTubers want stability, so it's an income for them, etc., etc. But when you're talking about PewDiePie, and I have to say this, and I'm not, I don't criticize other YouTubers or nothing like that. But when you are making twelve, uh, seven to four, eight million, nine million dollars off YouTube in a year. Why the fuck would you need to even bother with a paywall? Surely you should keep the spirit of YouTube and it being free. Uh, at least that's just my opinion. But then again, I ain't making money, so maybe I'm a little bit biased of it. But um, not that I really give a shit, to be honest with you, because I'm. St it doesn't matter, because at the end of the day, whether I was doing YouTube or I'm not doing YouTube, I'm still, what am I going to do? I'll tell you exactly what I'm going to fucking do. I'm going to wake up every day and I'm going to game anyway. I'm gonna play some games, and uh, you know why not talk about them on camera? But that's all I'm doing. I talk about it with my friend, I talk about it on camera. That's all this really is uh, to me. So I think it's a little bit, dare I say, greedy, or a little bit. I don't know. I mean, maybe that's just my opinion. I don't know. Um, but yeah, overall, I won't. I, I don't. I, of course, I'm not gonna be nowhere near that system. You know, I'm just trying to, you know, uh, do my videos each week, etc., etc. Et so I'm, I won't be anything to do with that. And I hope to God a lot of you don't subscribe to it because. Uh, it, I feel it's gonna. It might be the bubble that bursts YouTube eventually. It, it, this YouTube bubble of making uh, profit or what have you, in the, in the traditional way, is better than you paying ten ten dollars a month for uh, for this exclusive content where you know you can go to other places. And I think that's what most people will do. Most gamers or most people that use YouTube will just ignore the YouTube red. And I hope to God that happens and um, it just falls flat on its face. At the end of the day, um, because we don't want content behind a paywall, and uh, I disagree with it all day with it. You know, we pay enough as it is for internet and all the rest of it. So why the hell, you know, for this service that's been, you know, um, free for so long, why even, why even bother doing that? I don't know. Um, actually, thinking about it, if you had, um, if they're looking for tax breaks, here's an idea, just out of interest in, via YouTube. Uh, the more money you make, the more tax you pay. Um, isn't there, I swear to God, I'm not a tax man, but maybe there's a system where if they broke up the channel of YouTube where they had YouTube music and YouTube gaming and then whatever else, you know, and that's, and make it three separate companies. Maybe if you did that and then you pay lower tax on that because it's separate companies. I think it would work out that way. I'm not too sure about that. If you're smart enough to know, 
then by all means, you know, but I don't even think that's the case. Anyway, guys, um, that's it for this video. Uh, question of the week. Uh, I think I'll just go with straight up. Will you be subscribing to YouTube Red? Why will you be subscri uh, subscribing? Why won't you subscribe? You heard my views. Uh, please like, share, comment, and subscribe uh, to this channel. And, uh, you know, let's make money the traditional way of, uh, you know, helping people out and doing the thumbs up and all the rest of it. And keep it traditional and comment, by the way. It all helps me a lot. And uh, I'll see you next week. Also, um, just to give you an update as well, my wireless adapter came. I was going to do an unboxing, but what's the point? Look at it. It's nothing. It's nothing special. I ain't got, uh, Vibox gave me this. No, it's not paid promotion here. Uh, they're very helpful. The game is free. It arrived in two days. I put this in the back of my PC, and I should have wireless on my uh, PC. So I'm about to install that when I upload this video, and I'll, I'll be on Twitter as well. Follow me on Twitter, game, uh, Twitter at KillerGaming01. I'll leave a link in the description below, and Facebook. Um, but yeah, uh, have a great weekend, and uh, I'll see you next time.